Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the uh, hideout. I've just about got it fully upgraded, but it's going to take a couple of days because some of the upgrades actually take a few days, as well as I'm going to go over the, all the clothing customization for USEC. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So as you can see here, this is the hideout. Now I've got everything fully upgraded or it's on its very last upgrade. So... Um, at the moment, it's going to be a little while. Some of them say say 13 hours, but what actually happens is when it gets to zero, it goes to the next day. So some of them are like 48 hours long. Some of them are longer. I think the longest was maybe 72 hours. Um, and it's mostly these golden ones. They're, they're like the the bonus ones. I, I would I guess you'd call it. Um, so those ones are nearly done. But when they are done, uh, I'll do a full complete rundown. But a lot of people have been asking me about how it all looks and all that. So um, you got the, the shooting range here. Once you get that uh, upgraded, that's all you have to do for it. Workbench, level three, you get you get some crafting uh, options you, you can use. Personally, I didn't think many of these were that valid, but I might be wrong. Laboratory level three, you get some options for uh, some crafting options here. I will go through all this, like I said, in a lot more detail. I just wanted to give you the short and, the short and nasty of it all. Dash level four, if you've got Edge of Darkness, it starts at four. Um, now the Intel desk, this one is upgrading currently to level three, the final level, and you only need level two to get the Bitcoin farming, but that's upgrading at the moment. So I'm waiting for that. The cool one about this, when you do get at level three is you get your scav cooldown timer down 20% and the flea market commission is down by 30%, which is nice. Um, as well, so your security in your vents, these are purely to get other things upgraded. Mostly you want to focus on getting on up early is the generator because pretty much everything runs off the generator. Um, the scav case, this is going to give us options to you know find items. We don't know what that's going to be like yet. And I'm really excited to show you this stuff. Solar power just reduces uh, consumption of your generator by 50%. And when your generator is fully operational, you can have six fuel cans in there. So you can have six full fuel cans and working at double the uh, efficiency, which is going to be sweet. Uh, water collection, you can make these uh, super water, it's called. I can show you what that is in a second. Uh, nutrition unit gives you to make uh, condensed milk, some cigarettes, and uh, also gives you your, your regen stats as well. Med station, uh, you can make some meds with your super water. You can get some propital. Um, but yeah, these are some of the options you got here. And uh, you got the booze generator, which is still creating. I got not really, I'm not really sure where that's going to go yet. Heating, uh, this is just another one of those regen ones. The bed or the rest space. This one does uh, increase some of your regens as well. And then lastly, the library, which it gives you additional experience points as well as increasing your stats. Now we'll enter in nice and quick. Um, you come down to the shooting range, you can just go, hey, how's it going? Try out a weapon. I don't think I've got a weapon on me at the moment, but you just shoot it. Uh, if you can use as many mags as you want, and then as soon as you step away, uh, you leave the, the shooting range. So when you're in the shooting range, it doesn't use any ammunition and you can just see recall patterns as you shoot. Um, you do have like everything as we go along here. I'll do the, the quick rundown. Some things are interactable. Um, I haven't gone actually over every single spot uh, so far, but there's some pretty cool stuff. You'll be able to hear some music. Uh, you can turn off stuff. You sit down by the TV, turn on and off the TV. You even got the... Uh, the radio up here, you can listen to some banging tunes. And, uh, oh shit, I won't show you that stuff there. Um, Got to keep this PG-13. So that's pretty much uh, the, the layout here. And like I said, I'm going to go into a full detail rundown of absolutely everything once it's fully upgraded. So this should be around the 24 to 36 hour mark from now. I should be able to show you everything. But like I said, it's just one of those things where I don't have any control. I'm just going to take my time and wait for it to be done. Now, the last thing I want to show you before I finish up this video, over on the Ragman, uh, you've got the tactical clothing. The final ones are upgraded, uh, available at level 40, but you can do this along the way. So you've got your base layout, and this is how a normal uh, USEC will look. The final one is this wood uh, Woodland Infiltrator. This actually reminds me a little bit of the Thai Army uniform. With uh, We actually, in the Australian Army, we used to um, these, uh, what do you call it, shirts? With the zip like that we actually are uh, i use that when i was finishing up we had a different camouflage but we had the same kind of shirts now apart from that you can put on jackets or uh we called this the tennis ball jumper we actually had these in our army um 
you can't really get them anymore, but we call these the uh, tennis ball jumpers. And then uh, you can get some jackets as well, which I think they're pretty cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing them actually put more out there. Uh, most, of, uh, most of these, if I remember rightly, all it required was level and money. So uh, you can actually make yourself, you know, looking pretty pimping or uh, pretty casual. It depends on how you want to do it. So that is everything at level 40. And uh, I look forward to trying out more stuff and seeing more stuff like this in the future. So guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow there. Got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me on my live stream or down in the comments below. I will have that hideout video out for you in the next 48 hours. And I'm going to start punching out guides from this point onwards as I've got level 40 now. But lastly, guys, I'll see you next time. Dun -dun 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 -dun.